Hello and welcome to the online video tutorials by H2K Emphasis. In today's session, we are going to see what defect life cycle is. Let's see what defect life cycle is from a technical perspective and then I'll give you a generic example so you can understand it better. What defect life cycle is? It is a workflow through which a defect goes through during its lifetime. It starts when a defect is found and then it ends when a defect is closed after you make sure the defect doesn't produce itself again. The defect has different stages in its life cycle. So this is basically the technical definition of what a defect life cycle is. Let's take a simple example from our day-to-day -day life. Say for instance, internet is not working in your house. That's a defect, right? Internet is not working in your house. So what you have to do is call the internet company. A phone representative answers the call and then you tell her the internet is not working in your house. She makes note of your address and then she passes this over to a manager, like a technician's manager. So a ticket is created. This ticket is passed on to the manager. The manager then finds out which technician works in your area and assigns this ticket to the technician. This technician comes to your house, fixes the problem and asks you to check whether the internet is working or not. And then you check, you, you check on your computer, you see it's working, you tell him that okay, it's fine. And then he goes back and closes the defect or the ticket. So this is typically what happens in the IT industry as well. As soon as you find a defect or a bug in the application, what you do is open a ticket or open a, uh, open a defect. And then what happens in the process is what is called the defect life cycle. Let's go to the next slide and see what it is. So this is a pictorial representation of what happens after you find a defect or a graphical representation. So basically, once a defect is found, the status is new. It's a new defect. And then basically you analyze whether it is actually a defect or not. If it is a valid defect, whether it is in scope for this build or not. Okay, it is a defect. Does it need to be fixed right away is something that you have to decide. If it is not something that needs to be fixed right away, if it is not in scope, then what actually happens is the status, it goes back to rejected. If it is a valid one, then it come, it is assigned to the person who needs to fix it. It could be a developer. It is assigned to the developer and then the developer looks at it. it he fixes the problem and then the status moved to in progress. When, it, when he's actually fixing the defect, it goes to in progress then the status changes to fixed and then you retest it. After you retest it, if everything works, it, the status moves to closed. If the uh, defect is not in scope, then what happens is it goes to deferred. If it is not in scope for this build, it will be fixed later. It's not going to be fixed right away. So they will change the status of the defect to deferred. It is not going to be closed though. Until it is fixed, they won't close it. It's, it's just deferred for now. So this is basically a pictorial representation of what happens when you find a defect. Well, let's see what each status actually means. Suppose you find the defect and you log the defect. There, is a, there could be various systems that actually track defects. You could be using different um, uh, tools for actually tra tracking the defect. So you will open a defect. It's called new. When a defect is logged and posted for the very first time, it's in the new status, assigned. After the tester has posted the bug, the lead of the testers approves the bug is genuine and then he assigns the bug to the corresponding developer and the development team. So you open the bug, your lead or the manager, he looks at it and he says, yeah, this is a valid defect. We need to uh, actually assign it to the development team. That is what happens if it is a valid defect open. At this state, the developer has started analyzing and working on the defect to be fixed. So the developer starts looking at it and he sees what kind of a defect it is, what needs to be fixed. So at that time, the defect is in a open status, fixed. When the developer makes necessary code changes and verifies the changes, then he can make the bug status as fixed and the bug is passed to the testing team. So he, he changes the status to fixed after he has uh, fixed the defect, after he is done working on the defect. Verified. 
the tester tests the bug again after it got fixed by the developer. If the bug is not present in the software, he approves that the bug is fixed and changes the status to fixed. So it comes back to the testing team. The tester, what he does is he does the test again. He uh, runs the same um, test case again to see if the bug is reproduced. If the bug is not reproduced, if everything is going well, then you change the status to fixed. Closed. Once the bug is fixed, it is retested by the tester and the bug no longer exists in the software. He's changed the status to closed. That's what he does after it has been retested. Reopen. If the bug still exists, even after the bug is fixed by the developer, the tester changes the status to reopen. The bug goes through the life cycle once again. So uh, the developer says that he has fixed it and then you come and retest it and find the defect again. What you do is reopen the defect and it goes back to the developer and goes through the same cycle again. Rejected. If the developer feels the bug is not genuine, he rejects the bug. Deferred. When a bug is changed to a deferred state, it means the bug is expected to be fixed in the next release. This can be due to various reasons. It may be a defect that's not a showstopper. This is probably something you can fix later. It doesn't need to be fixed right away. You might have priorities, you know, that need to be fixed even before this bug needs to be fixed. So uh, during that uh, circumstance, what happens? It's changed to a deferred status. So this is basically a defect life cycle. Um, H2K Infosys offers free demo class. You can contact us and register with us for a free demo class. To get in touch with us, you can email us at h2kinfosys at gmail.com or training at h2kinfosys.com. You can also reach us at 770-777-1269. That's the United States phone number. Or you can reach us at 020-3371-7615. This is the phone number for UK. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please send in your feedback. I think it's absolutely valuable. Uh, let us know what you feel about our uh, video sessions. See you another time. Until then, bye-bye.